Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. I recently posted a little montage that I did in Switzerland with, that has these little loop-de-loop -loop line drawing things. You see this going up there? Let me just rewind it a little bit so you can see it. See this little dotted line going across the screen? So I posted this and Gustautas, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, he asked about if I could create a tutorial on how to do that. So I want to do that for him and for anyone else that is interested. And so here I am in After Effects and you can see actually here this is the exact composition that I used for that little portion of the video. It's a very simple dotted line that animates on and it's actually very simple to do. As always please watch in full screen. I shoot, I record these videos at full resolution on my iMac so it'll look best if you're watching this in full screen HD. So first we're going to just start a new composition, 1920 by 1080, 10 seconds, that's perfect. Then we're going to create our line. So just take our pen tool up here, make sure that the fill is set to none. So just click fill and from solid color move to none. And then the stroke set it to about three or four. And you can change the color depending on what you want, but I just want white. So then we just want to create the shape. Now you can create a line like I did with a little loop. You could create a heart, you could create a circle. You can even use the shape tool if you want rather than the pen tool. But the pen tool allows you to do custom shapes like this one where I'm just going up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, so you have this little hill line thing. Now we have to turn it into a dashed line. So drop down our shape drop down, drop down our contents menu, our shape menu, and then our stroke menu. Under dashes, click this plus sign. Now we have a dashed line. Now you can press plus again where you get this gap option. And you can increase or decrease the gap. So that's basically spreading out the dashes. You can also change whether the dash is straight has a straight edge or a round edge. So let me zoom in here really much so you can see it's pixelated now because I'm so zoomed in. But here's the round cap, here's the butt cap. Sometimes the round cap just looks a little bit better in my opinion. Okay, so now we just have to animate this on. So to animate, we're going up to the contents over here where it says add, click this button, and then click trim paths. This is one of my favorite effects. If you haven't played with trim, paths yet it is amazing it will change your life literally drop down the trim paths options and you will see a start and end percentage end percentage is at 100 and if I drop this to say 50 you can see that our shape is only 50% complete if I go back to 3% it's just starting out so if you were a betting man or woman what do you think we would do to animate this? Well, you probably guess adding some keyframes. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to set this to zero, click the stopwatch icon right here to create a keyframe, then go to five seconds or so, depending on how long you want the animation to be, and then type in 100. And that automatically sets a new keyframe going from zero to 100. So if I play through this now, you can see what it would look like. So here we have this line that's kind of animating. It looks like it's animating onto our screen. One other cool thing you can do is animate the start point. So that's this point over here. Right now it's at zero, but if I move it forward, you can see that it moves forward. So about a second after this animation starts, maybe a second and a half, I'm going to click the stopwatch to set a keyframe there. Then around six and a half seconds, I'm going to animate this to 100% just by dragging it up to 100%. Now if I play through this, you can see what it looks like. It looks like a little trail of ants or clouds or whatever you imagine this to be. This is a pretty cool effect. In my video, I actually didn't do the start animation, so it wasn't sort of trailing like this, but that's a pretty darn cool effect and very easy. Now, again, you could change the shape of this. You can change the shape now by going back to your path and moving it around. 
or you can just start from scratch and do the same thing with a heart or a circle or whatever you want. Now, how do you actually use this in a video? Well, there are two ways. One is either exporting this clip and bringing it in on top of your video, or just taking this into your Premiere Pro application. So one way to add it is through the Adobe Dynamic Link, which is an amazing tool that Adobe has come up with to basically be able to use After Effects and Premiere Pro at the same time. Basically, what does that mean? We can actually take this composition that we just created, tap, I'm, I just clicked it. So I clicked and I'm dragging it. I still have it clicked. I'm going to tab over using Command Tab on my Mac, Control Tab on a PC to Premiere Pro. And then I'm just going to drop it into my project file. So now I can open this up in my preview window. And if I take just the video and drag it onto my video, timeline onto the second layer. Let me just turn off this audio. This is from a course that I did on email list building. You can see now that this line appears on top of this video. Now that would be very distracting for this video, but if it was on a monta montage like I created, it would be kind of cool. Then you can just you could even duplicate it, you could do whatever you want with it. To actually export the video so you can bring it in wherever you want without this Di Adobe Dynamic Link, you need to export with a transparent background. So go up to Composition, Add to Render Queue, click Lossless, click RGB, go to RGB plus Alpha, click OK, click Comp 1 and choose where you want to save it, and then click Render over here. And then you can take that file, that exported file, and bring it into Adobe Premiere Pro just like a normal video file and then place it on top of the video that you want the little line to appear on. Now I've had a lot of people saying that this technique doesn't work if you're using Sony Vegas. So and when you import it, it still has a black background. So please, if anyone knows how to do this in a Sony Vegas, let me know because I'm not a Sony Vegas editor. Uh, most of you are probably editing in Premiere Pro, uh, so this should work completely fine for you. But as always, if you have any questions or any issues, let me know. Thank you so much again for this tutorial, for the request. I love doing tutorials like this for people who ask me on YouTube or Facebook or whatever. So if you have any motion graphic, editing, any sort of thing, just let me know. You can also visit my website, videoschoolonline.com, where you can enroll in some premium courses, or you can subscribe to my email list where you will get a free freelance kickstart guide, which is a 50 page ebook for free for signing up for my email list. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and we'll see you in another tutorial.